Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 20th, July 20th, 2019. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This is a message from my guides for somebody. I don't know who. This is not sign specific. We're just going to see what comes up, and the timing is fluid. All right, so let's see what we got here. We're going to start with this one. thought something fell out for a minute there. What do we got for the 20th? Or thereabouts. Oh. Three of Cups. Rejoice in celebration. So there's good this is this is socializing, having fun, celebrating. There could be a reunion, there could be a party. This could be going out with friends, having drinks, um, socializing, right? Three of Cups. Happiness. Having fun. So this is a time of having fun on the 20th. Could be some drinking involved. Cheers, a toast, perhaps. Partying. Somebody is probably going to be partying. And for those of you who are going to comment down below, I don't drink then the reading isn't for you. It may, you know, use your common sense. It doesn't have, you don't have to, you can have soda in that cup. You know what I mean? So, this is out having fun, partying with your friends, your relatives, whatever. Socializing. There could be some drinking involved. What do we have for the twentieth? This could be a, this could be a wedding. Somebody could be going to a wedding. It could be a celebration of life. Okay, celebration could be an anniversary. Could, who knows? Could be anything. Could be going out to the bar, partying with your friends, whatever. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So there could be a reunion here because Three of Cups is a reunion. Now, people get this misconception just like when I say drinking, they automatically think alcohol. They, you know, they think they know their soulmate a lot of times. You may not. <laughs> you may not know your soulmate yet. You may meet your soulmate at this celebration. At this party, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So there's a good chance that somebody could be, you know, meeting up with their soulmate. I mean, that could be the case. Or they could be getting married to their soulmate or whatever. Whatever. This could go so many different ways. But there's a celebration here, and it could be a reunion between two people that have been waiting to meet. They've been waiting to come together. Could be. What do we have for the 20th? Ooh, Queen of Wands reverse. This is doubtful. <laughs> doubtful? Negative? No desire, no ambition, I don't feel good enough, my self-esteem is low, this is low self-esteem, low self-confidence, very doubtful. Low energy, so lack of energy, I don't feel good, I'm not attractive enough. Mm. Hair, I don't believe in myself, oh my god. So, this is somebody who doesn't believe in themselves right here. Lack of faith in themselves. Lack of faith, right? No faith that I'm ever going to find somebody. Somebody may be losing hope, whatever. They may. Doubting that I'll ever find. You will doubt. You may be doubting you're ever going to find, you know that commitment that you've been looking for. Seven of Cups, setting clearing intentions reversed. King of Swords reversed. 
unaware, not thinking clearly. So you're probably not aware. You probably aren't aware. Somebody is not aware that some their prayers are being answered. Three, we talked about three in the live the, internet, the other night. Threes are about your prayers have been heard. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you may not believe it. And if you continue to not believe it, well, you know, you get what you what you think, right? So if you think you're never going to get it, then you're right. This is thinking negatively as well. So we definitely have some, pe some people here or somebody that's thinking negatively. Um, you have to make that clear choice. You have to make that clear decision to think positive, to have faith, to trust, to believe. Two of Pentacles reverse, and I don't want to hear any comments about reversals either. They come out the way they are meant to come out. There's this things have been turned upside down. So somebody has made some really poor decisions in the past. Somebody may be guarded emotionally, guarded emotionally because of their poor decisions. They may be, maybe they chose something, you know, they made a wrong choice, obviously. Somebody made a wrong choice, which is common, right? We all do. We all do. This could be a divorce. Let's just keep going. Grieving. Oh, my God. Four of Cups upright. We got a couple of cards upright. Oh, my God. Ace of Swords reversed. Oh, God. There's a lack of communication, a lack of trust, a lack of truth. Somebody's not aware, like I said. Somebody is not aware that they have a an option. They're not aware that they have an option. Still sad. And we got somebody here that is definitely loathing. We have somebody here that is self-loathing. We got somebody that is sad. We got somebody here that... Yeah, you know, doesn't know their value. Somebody that's like, poor, poor, pitiful me. I'll never find anybody. Wah, wah, wah. Poor, poor, poor me. I'm being real as fuck right now. But there is an option here. If somebody could just open their eyes and think positive. Whew beginning to come out of this darkness so this is actually good in reversed five of pentacles is better in reverse because it's beginning to realize it's the end of difficulty it's coming out of the darkness no longer living in that victim mentality victim mentality that poor poor pitiful me this is coming out of that victim mentality Oh, but afraid we got somebody here that is so afraid to take that leap of faith to start over but there's a new beginning here there is a new beginning here I feel as though Whew. there's an absence of inner faith and trust and believing that a partnership could the right one could come to you and as long as you think like that it's not going to happen just so you know that's a message somebody needs to hear because it's very clear very 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 clear so um, maybe it's time maybe nobody's coming to you because you're hiding. Maybe you're not putting yourself out there. Maybe you're not, you, you, somebody is so scared to even date. Not taking any action, sitting at home and crying. I'm not mocking anybody, but I, I'm, you know, if I say it all sweet, are you gonna get the message? So we got somebody here that is discontent and sad, sitting at home and crying. And I want, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Calling in their soulmate, but they're not doing anything about it. Start dating. Go on some dating sites. 
Go out with your friends. Go have some fun. Put yourself out there. Open yourself up. Open your eyes. Put yourself out there. They hear you. Your prayers are being heard, but you have to take action. Don't worry about what you look like. If you think you look like shit, then you do. If you think you look great, you do. You have to be confident. Wear that fucking confidence. And your soulmate will arrive. And that is no shit. So for those of you that are sitting home and you are crying, there's options out there. But if you don't take any action, you won't find them. Go out with your friends or join a dating site. Stop crying about it. Good luck.